What's up, dudes? This here's Sea Dog, and you're watching Miller Time Motorsports, where dirt meets rubber. And uh, this here is a uh, part two of uh, pulling the motor out of the car. I'm gonna pull, go ahead and pull it out today. Hopefully, I don't see why I couldn't. So yeah, we're gonna get started. It was uh, it was really cold last night, and I was kind of worried about the block. And I came over here and pulled the thermostat out, and I dumped like a uh, like a bunch of straight coolant into it. So hopefully, it's fine. I don't know how much water was. I don't know. All right. Anyway, I realized in the the last couple videos. I talk a lot, and I'm not very good at talking, so I'm going to try to work on that, try to get a little better. I, I realize these these videos are really boring, so I'll try to get better, and anyway, we're going to go ahead and start taking things apart. I'm going to go down there and uh, undo the um, the wires on the starter, and get out of, get, take the fuel lines off, and carburetor, little stuff like that, and we'll get to it, and I'll keep you informed. We'll see you. Um, my leak for my antifreeze, uh, it was in the fan tread before, and I think that is it right there. That's about to come off right there, so I assume that's probably what happened. So sick, easy fix. I completely forgot almost to disconnect the battery. That probably wouldn't be great taking the, the powers off of the, the starter, so I'm gonna get that going. Hell yeah. This is hard to do with one hand. This is stupid. Yeah, you'll just, I'm just, I'm going to take that off. There's your uh, throw release spring. That thing's stiff. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh. You Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Awesome, yeah, leaking fuel all over the place. Probably dropping all kinds of stuff in the freaking intake. Yeah, keep leaking fuel. <sighs> yeah, woo, yeah! <sighs> woo. Uh, now I got... Yeah, buddy! Woo! Ah, oh, yeah. I almost lost my cool there. <laughs> anyway. What I was dealing with is this Dagum, um, the brake boost, the vacuum line for the brake booster. So anyway, I got that out. I'm sure I got fuel everywhere, all over my, ugh. who knows what dropped down in the intake. That was not fun. That was a little bit of an event, but uh, I guess I'll leave that on there. Woo! Got that bad boy off. Yeah, that, uh, that vacuum line goes right there and that was tight. There we go. Uh, it's officially, as far as I know, everything's disconnected except, except for the bell housing bolts and the motor mount. So as far as I know, I almost forgot the water temp and oil pressure gauge or uh, sensors. Don't forget that. Uh, other than that, I think it's ready to go. I just gotta, I'm gonna put a jack under the, the tranny there and then I'm gonna go get the freaking, the engine stand. It's all the way over here and if you know it really sucks pulling a freaking engine hoist from here all through all that crap that's gonna suck so anyway i'm gonna go do that and then i'm gonna hook up to it and i'll try to get all those bell housing bolts out that's gonna be a pain in the butt anyway get on it and then i'll show you when we start pulling it out cherry pickers there trucks in the way extra race cars in the way and it's just a pain in the butt and i didn't know if casey had his keys here or not and i about lost it but i think i found the key so we'll do old cold star on her and see if she'll teach the life and pull her on out here
about halfway. Uh, you wouldn't believe how, <laughs> it's about an hour later. I've been working on that thing for a while. I damn near had to carry it from there to there. Ground soft and you wouldn't believe how many roots are over there. So just to make it a little easier, there's not room over here, but there's room over here. I'm moving another one of Casey's turds that are in my way. So we'll get another cold start. Casey's truck wasn't sounding great. That kind of made me nervous. But anyway, we're gonna get another cold start. Turn the lights on. Remember how I said touch screen? Let's see if this one will work today. I think we're just that so well. This one's done for. Anyway, uh, that dude is in here. I'm gonna go get a drink of water <laughs> and then I'm gonna put the jack under training, unball the bell housing, attach it to here somehow, and then. Take more months out and she's coming out. So I'll, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop making videos. I'll go ahead and get, I'll get to the point where it's coming out and I'll pick you back up. So we'll see you. Housing bolts are being a pain. The best part is that's a quarter inch shock on the end. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. So it's officially ready to pull. I think it's ready to pull out as far as I know. That's why I say unofficially because about every time I try to pull a motor, uh, there's always something hanging on and end up breaking or something. So anyway, we're going to go real slow. We're going to pull her up. We got the motor that mounts out. Um, everything's out of the way. Got all the electrical, all three wires of it. But <laughs> um, I, think, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to start pulling her right on out now. Hope it goes good. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll film because I really need to be watching it real good. But we're going up. And they're going back. All right, yeah, I gotta, I'll set you up a time lapse. I gotta have my hands and my eyes. So, uh, let's see if we can get her. All right, guys, the motor is out. Look at that. It is empty. It went fairly smooth. The only problem I really had was the, um, the throttle stick cable whatever you want to call it and uh that uh, kept getting in the way i've been a little bit that's the only thing i broke i think and then that was a pain in the butt because i extended that really long because this is so high i knew it had to go pretty high so i extended that and i didn't extend the legs so it was like and i lost the time that last video i'm sorry about that but eventually i got it but if you would have seen it the cherry picker was like this at one point it was retarded but anyway got it out now i just got to take bolts off that uh motor and get the engine stand put up and then we'll look at her some more well boys and girls it is done check it out got on the the stand here and i am just about done for an eye i'm tired of work on this piece of turd anyway it's free in here it's pretty sick pretty excited about figuring out the motor mounts we're gonna move her up and there's a i'm starting to realize more and more and more how much money this is gonna be before I race this year, and it's really gonna suck, but whatever. I love it, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, yeah, we're gonna probably do a, a lot to the motor before I put it back in, so just little stuff here and there, so I'll keep making videos on it. Um, well, I'll make a video on how we figure out the motor mounts, and I'll just keep making videos in the off season trying to get ready, so like and subscribe. Um, follow our Instagram. We have an Instagram, it's uh. Motor time underscore motorsports. Go follow it. It's pretty sick. We post a lot more on there than we do on YouTube because it's a lot easier. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, check this out. <laughs> we only do things the right way around here. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I ran out of bolts and that's all I had. So, we got her done anyway. She's holding enough for now. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it eventually, but whatever. Anyway, like, subscribe, and whatnot. Leave a comment. I will reply to every comment left behind every one of them so comment and uh yeah that's about it 
We'll see you.